In these problems, you'll be utilizing the distance formula, which is just the result of applying the Pythagorean theorem onto a coordinate plane. And that basically tells us if we want to find the distance between any two points, we can treat right, the distance between those two points as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Right, so this distance right here is the hypotenuse H, and your right triangle then has two legs. And those legs are just an X distance, that's this distance right here, delta X, and a Y distance. So in the Pythagorean theorem, normally we say uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? And that is what we're saying here, but the way we write it is a bit different. This kind of transforms into delta x squared plus delta y squared is equal to d squared because they refer to the hypotenuse as distance. So h equals d and delta x is this horizontal distance and delta y is this distance right here. The delta x difference is just the difference of the x values in your two points, right? So here a is equal to 3, 4. Right, that's point A equals 3, 4, and B is equal to 5, 6. So they give you the two points, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the x values are 3 and 5. You can subtract them in any order because you're squaring. I'll use my B values first, though, just to be consistent. So it's 5 minus 3 squared plus the delta Y squared, or the difference of the Y values squared, 6 minus 4 squared, and that equals D squared. But we don't want to know what d squared is, we want to know what d is. So ultimately, you'll be taking the square root of this sum right here. So let's do that. 5 minus 3 is 2, squared is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2, squared is 4. We add them up, right? And the square root of 4 plus 4 is our distance. And our distance is the square root of 8. But you want to simplify that, right? Are there any perfect square factors in here? Well, I know that the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 equals the square root of 8. And I know that the square root of 4 is 2, so I'm done then, right? And our distance here is 2, radical 2. The only thing you might get tricked up on here is dealing with the radicals, which we review in other videos. But basically, the idea is that the square root of any two factors, right, let's say um, f1 and any other number factor, but f2 will say, is equal to the square root of the product of those factors. And that just means that like with eight, right, with the square root of eight, I know that four times two is eight, right? And four is useful because it's a perfect square. But this property tells me if I know four times two is eight, then I could take the square root of each of those factors, four and two, and that won't change anything because the square root of each factor multiplied is equal to the square root of the product of the factors. So here, the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 is equal to the square root of 4 times 2, or 8. And that allows us to break these things down because now square root of 4 is 2, and we've simplified it. All right, hope this helps.